What is going on, everybody? This is your host, Rob, back with another episode of From My Experience Podcast. We're on iTunes, motherfucker! Um, (laughs) 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 Sorry, I was ignorant. I apologize. Talking like you made it or some shit. Listen, man. (laughs) Listen. I, I feel special, you know. There's so many iTunes users and we, iTunes users, and we haven't been on there. And now that we're on there, it's great. So, I have two guests with me today. I have day. Oh, I'm sorry, three. Yeah, three. It's about to get real. It's really about to get real for your iTunes listeners. How you know I wasn't about to leave out Carl instead of you? <laughs> See, I feel like this is a boys' club, you know. Okay, well, ladies first. Go ahead and introduce yourself, please. It's your girl Nella B. it's your girl that's gotta go all right oh (laughs) i'm a lady (coughs) okay um (coughs) carl what's going on man what's good man it's me cv you just call me cv for short man (laughs) okay cv and we got dave friend of the show yeah what's going on um, you may know me as a friend to many shows. Been on uh, the New Gaming Order podcast with Rob from time to time. So feel it honored that he's invited me to this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, please. If y'all have businesses and stuff y'all want to plug, always feel free to put your stuff out there. If you want to be associated with this trash that I put out. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right. So if you are a loyal listener you heard the last episode where we talked about the cheap ass engagement ring for those of you who don't know on social media around christmas slash new year's time there were some posts going around about people getting proposed to with the 25 dollars engagement ring and there was a huge uproar about the price of the ring and people saying oh you can buy jordans but you can only spend 25 dollars on the ring you can buy xbox and playstation games but you spend 25 dollars on the ring And there are some people arguing the quality and cost versus the symbolism behind the ring. So it was a, it was a pretty intense uh, thing going on on Facebook. So me and the normal staff, uh, we covered this on the last episode called cheap ass engagement ring. So I solicited some guests. So that I could get their title. So this is, guys, you mean we're getting paid for this? Yeah, y'all getting paid. <laughs> Cop- copper coins, baby. Copper coins. Um, All right, I want I need 10, 10, of them, bro. <laughs> You'll get them over a span of 5,000 years. Um, <laughs> so I got some guests on here. So y'all can listen to my guests give their opinions on this engagement ring fiasco, as I've been calling it. And y'all enjoy. So if you haven't prefaced this show with the first episode, go back and listen to the episodes. Also, don't forget, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on SoundCloud, and we're on iTunes now. (laughs) All the same name from my experience podcast. You see the logo. The logo is everywhere. We official. So we're going to get right into it. Who wants to go first? Who just wants to talk about this? Let me pose a question. Let me talk to the lady. Do you find what, if any, do you find any issues with a $25 engagement ring? I absolutely do not. And I know that that's probably a shocker, but I didn't even want a ring personally. I want a long lasting marriage. So I don't see the problem at all. And and it's funny because it's a lot of men who have the issue and y'all are the one who carry the burden of purchasing the ring. So I really want to hear y'all's point of view. Oh, uh, Dave. You were not expecting that, huh? See, I'm, I'm in <laughs> no, it wasn't with her because I was on the side of it should be about the symbolism and not how much it costs. Because if Rob remembers, I caught all kinds of flack from his friends. For Wait, being why they got to be son. my friends? <laughs> oh, they some just they just randoms popping up on your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> maybe maybe not. Go ahead, man. No, but I was I'm of the thought that it it's all about the symbolism and the comparison to buying J's and Xbox and video games, that's the wrong kind of comparison to have because I'm not a fan of J's and but I understand why people buy them and I play video games and I understand why people buy those as well. Those are for like uh entertainment value. You derive entertainment from that. Okay. A ring, an engagement ring, is supposed to be about 
a person's willingness to commit themselves to you in a long-term relationship, which is supposed to be marriage at this point. So for me, it could be a $25 ring. It could be a piece of wood. It could be whatever you want it to be. As long as that <laughs> symbolism is there, that's all that should matter. It shouldn't matter how much you spent on it. CV? I love it, man. I mean, hey, shout out to, uh, to, to Dave. And I love my wife. I think that's part of the reason why I married her, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I had low expectations for what I could do. I, I could have got her a Cracker Jack box ring, and that's great. Mm -hmm. But see, for me... I'm 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 looking at it like when she leaves the house, and there's another dude that's looking at her. Tell him, hey, I'm thinking to myself like this dude's judging me by the ring that he's already looking at her, but he's gonna judge me by the ring that she has on her hand. And he knows you so got I, good taste because he's looking at me. Yeah, he know I got good taste, and he <laughs> know I'm telling him that he can't afford her though. I need him to know that. <laughs> so, I said to myself, I said, you know what, this ring, hey, it's about her, but it was about me too. So I was like, look. I'm going to put this statement ring on your hand and homeboy going to think twice about hollering at you. Either that or this top game, but got to be real slick. That's just how I feel. All right. Now, I'm glad you said that because that was a point I forgot to bring up on the first show. The ring is definitely what everyone said, but I think it's important that it, it needs to show. I think it should also show your level of commitment in that. Like, for example... I'd be kind of, I would feel some type of way if I knew my woman was in a position, like, I'm a gamer, so let's say I wanted an Xbox, and I know, you know, my woman's financial situation, and she's she's willing and able to buy it, but she gets me the, the freaking, I don't know, the X game with 250 <laughs> built-in games instead of the Xbox. I, I ain't gonna lie, I would feel some type of way, because I'm like, yo, you can, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like, yo, you can go out here... And do all these things, and then you kind of, when it comes but to me that. and the one thing, and 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 then, and I was like, you understand the symbolism behind it, but I feel like when it comes to that, it's kind of what Carl says because people are gonna look at him too. But on that, if we're talking about the level of commitment, we could have very easily went down to a tattoo shop and gotten fifty dollar ring For tattoos. Real? <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's a whole nother level. It speaks about forever. <laughs> And the thing is, when you know your your significant other's financial situation, whoever bought that twenty five ninety nine ring may be down to their last hundred, but they was like, you know what, True. I'm gonna go get this twenty four ninety nine ring plus tax and spend that money on my girl because I want her to know I want to spend forever with her. And who's to say when he come, when he's on the come up, he don't go ahead and upgrade? Y'all, I wish. I wish we were on video so I could show y'all the speck of a ring that my mom got from my father. Mm -hmm. But before he passed, he upgraded the hell out of that shit. And and the thing is, you do what you can do when you can do it. You don't I I do not want my husband to overextend himself because guess what? We gotta live. Right. Because that, that expensive ass ring leads to the expensive ass wedding leads to you not getting a house. I know so many people who've had sixty thousand dollar weddings got nice ass rings on their fingers and they live in apartments true you know so you gotta have your priorities straight the ring it wasn't about the ring for me and i told him i can go and buy myself a wedding band you don't have to do that let's just get married let's sign them papers point blank period okay let me ask let me pose this question you about to say something cv no no you good oh. I, was about, I was about to say something go ahead um, like a lot of flack that I caught. For <laughs> wait, wait. Let me. I know what you're gonna say. Wait, I know what he's gonna say. Wait, I know. <laughs> wait, listen. I know what he's about to say. So I'm gonna pose a question. How do y'all feel about what she just said? You start off with yep. one type of ring, and then you upgrade it later on for the sake of uh, maybe I wasn't in a financial position, or maybe I want to do something spe special for it and upgrade her ring. Cause I now that's very common. <laughs> Because, again, I worked in a jewelry store, and a lot of people did that. They would buy, you know, a specific ring, get married, and then five or ten years later, she comes back and they upgrade the ring. So how do you feel about that? Um, let's start with, let's start with right. Dave. Let me practice this by saying, <laughs> what I said on your Facebook was an attempt to make your friend see how petty and brutal and, like, how irrational she was being. That wasn't, like, my actual train of thought. It was. Go ahead. It is. Well, what I had said was <laughs> on the Facebook was like, 
well, if you upgrade the ring, why can't I upgrade you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, when he, now, when he says this, ladies and gentlemen, he's talking about implants and all <laughs> you as a person. Okay. And you know what? If you marry a girl who's down for that, that's cool. Like, my husband likes to say all the time he upgraded me. Because I ain't gonna lie, I'm a very simple girl. When we met, my favorite <laughs> restaurant was Outback. And he was trying to eat at McCormick and Smicks and, and what I can't even say the shit. <laughs> I've never heard of it, so all that other shit. And I'm just like, dude, they got the blooming onion. Yes. I can go ahead and get my outback fries and I'm cool. So he likes to say I upgraded you and he has because he's changed my outlook on a lot of things. So yeah, you can upgrade the ring and you can upgrade me as well. Now whether I want to put foreign objects in my body, I think that's a whole other conversation. Right. That so, was that was just I, taking things to an extreme because yeah. I wanted to Yeah, you you basically wanted to shut that person up. Right. <laughs> yeah, way. it shut me up matter of fact and it was on my wall. Um <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, well, <laughs> we <"Wee!" laughs> I'm 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 for upgrading the ring when you can afford to upgrade it, and I'm generally not opposed to the twenty four ninety nine because at that point when you propose to somebody, you you've seen how they live, you've lived with them, you know what they're about, you know their potential. If you didn't know any of these things or you felt these things were below what you were looking for, you would not be with that person to that stage of the game. So to get a proposal, it's like, okay, we're, I know what you're about. You know what I'm about. Let's do this. You know what I think you know? really happened with this ring? I think she got it and she didn't, well, whoever got these rings didn't know what they cost. And people were just exposing the cost and, and skipping over the symbolism, which I find <laughs> hilarious. And I, and I pose another question. Um, and I think, I think I talked to CV about this. Um, how would you feel if you found out they went to the jewelry store to find out how much you paid for it? Oh, I'd be kind of mad. <laughs> okay. I... Go ahead, Dave. Why, why I'd be kind of mad. I'd be, be kind of mad because that means she went behind my back and wanted to see how much it cost it for whatever reason. Like people, are like, oh, she probably wanted to get insurance. insurance. On. I'm like, dude, you could just come to me and. I grab the receipt for you. I keep receipts on shit that important. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, man, but it's twenty four dollars. I mean, I'm saying like, you know, what I'm saying like, you could go buy another one or something. Happy to. <laughs> you know what I'm I mean, if, if it was twenty four dollar ring, man, I wouldn't want her to fact check or price check that. I'd be like, that was a limited time sale, so you you don't have to. Yeah, that, that ring is eighty dollars actually. Yeah, that ring is eighty dollars. I was in the mall at K, and me and my girlfriend were walking past the K, and we just happened to be talking about it. And the lady was like, that ring is actually $80. And she showed it to us. Word. <laughs> well, check it out. Check it out. My thing is, the only reason I can see somebody getting mad about them, in, in particular, this ring, like going back and checking the price, is because I'm embarrassed. I don't want you to know that I paid that much money. <laughs> so, I mean, like, please don't check that. You ever see that episode of Seinfeld? So, <laughs> I wouldn't be I wouldn't be embarrassed that I spent twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents on it. I'm never embarrassed about how much I pay for something. I'd be embarrassed that you didn't trust me enough to ask me how much it costs. Cause I I straight up tell you that's the kind of person I am. I'm like, yo, ring costs twenty four ninety nine. I got it on sale. It's like eighty normally. You should never do that. <laughs> but if you if you spend twenty four ninety nine on a ring, please don't do that. <laughs> like, dude, I just can't. I just gave my girl a, a a sixty dollar pair of DC sneakers that cost twenty four ninety nine because I got them on sale, and she wanted them sneakers and I was like, "Yo, I'll get them for you." And she's like, "Can you I get?" I do think that is a little different, only because so I want these sneakers. I've already done the research on these sneakers. I know the value of these sneakers. Generally speaking. I mean, unless you got a girl who, who's been dreaming of her wedding all her life, she got a notebook, she got she done collected all the rings, she done researched <laughs> the them all. Um, <laughs> the generally notebook. speaking, women don't research ring prices. So I do think, now, although I don't think it's necessarily um, a thing to have an expensive ring, I do feel like it would be a blow to me if my fiancé was like, hey, Here's your ring. Oh, and by the way, I got it on sale. You should be like, I'm proud of my husband when he buys shit on sale now because we married and we growing together financially. But as my fiance, don't tell me you got a $24.99 ring. Like, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it takes away. 
It takes away hey, from man. the symbolism. You ever watch it Baby does. Boy? Baby Boy say, I lied to you because I love you. I tell you the truth. <laughs> So if you love your girl, lie to her, man. Don't tell her you spent twenty four ninety nine. So what and, and that question I pose about her going, I'm saying let's knock out the twenty five dollar ring in general. Okay. I'm talking about a ring in general. Like even if it costed a thousand dollars, I'd still be kind of mad. I would too. And I and I say that because why you wanna know how much I pay for it? I, okay. Okay. Because I don't like that. Cause you, so, cause, and the like, reason hey, I don't like that because you did that. Like, hey, you did. You, oh my bad. Nah, go, well, I was gonna say that it bothers me because I know the type of person I am. So if she did that, you're doing that for a specific reason, and you're probably not gonna tell me what that reason you're is, right. and it's probably not you're a good right. reason either. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Everything you're saying is right. So I, the your female listeners are gonna be mad. Sorry, y'all. Um, but we do it because girls talk about that kind of shit. That's why. You right. Like, I knew I knew how much my ring cost and I'm about to get myself in trouble so yeah. that means I actually like you. But when I I'm went listening. and got my ring inspected cuz you have to do that yep. twice every 6 months or whatever. I looked at the ring to see, "Oh, I wonder how much it costs now." Like has this ring gone down in value? And actually, they're charging a little more for the ring. So it made me feel it made me feel away <laughs> cuz I'm like Oh, my ring actually went up in value. So when I talked to my girls, I'm like, yeah, this ring was close to da 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 da. Because you, you want to brag a little bit, but you can't brag on your twenty four ninety nine ring. I know we said we're taking that out, but you can't brag. <laughs> you just can't. Because it's not going to compare. Even when you go back and see it cost $80, if your friend already said, yeah, my ring was close to 4000 And that... Not, you know, detail, accurate, but close to 4000 and you like oh well, I got oh well I'm not going to talk about my ring cuz it's 24.99 that goes back you know, to Carl's point it. that goes back to Carl's point and and why those people are mad about the $25 ring it's the conversation <laughs> it's that conversation when you're not around she got to deal with that she got to exactly. deal with that and that's not you don't want to set your shorty up like that though exactly I don't want to set her up like that I don't want to set me up like that and to kind of go back man when y'all was saying, I think like with the whole symbol aspect of it, that's that's beautiful. But like I was, I was kind of talking to Jessica about it earlier. I was like, man, you know, if you get that twenty four dollar ring, you need to get your hustle game up. Go on eBay, go on Amazon, flip that ring, get you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and flip that. Yeah, but one. but for me, yeah, like everybody knows because Facebook don't told on you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, but saying, somebody somebody wasn't on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> that's, that's like the black Facebook right there. You know what I'm saying? These white folks ain't worried about that. That was definitely the black Facebook. <laughs> I'm just being real. That's black Facebook. And so a couple of my white that. friends did chime in. Yeah, but, and you probably had to ask them. Answer <laughs> <it>. <laughs> See, but here here's my thing. Like, yeah, like you may not be able to brag on your ring, but you be able to brag on your man and where you live, like, oh, you're where you living at though. Like, you got a four thousand dollar ring, but you living in this one bedroom apartment in the middle of you West right? Bumblefuck, while I'm living in this this nice condo over here. My ring may cost twenty five bucks, but I got Central Air condominium and I own two cars. What you got? <laughs> hey, I, I feel you, my brother. But if you can afford that, you just got to put a little more effort. In, like, just wait a little while longer. Be like, you know what? I got it coming. Let me go ahead and make the flip happen. Let me get this money up so I can So get with it. all this said, what do y'all think about ringless engagement? I'm for it. Oh, great. <laughs> I can buy more Xbox games. What do you mean? You know how much like, stuff I, know, I, I want? I know, I know plenty of people who are engaged who don't have engagement rings. And, yeah. they're, and they're living just right. They just don't feel that they need to, to have that aspect on them. Like, look, I need to rub your nose in this... 24 carat ring <laughs> yeah i um i actually had one guy respond in the group and he posted his rings and he said him and this girl got them off amazon they were wooden huh? and they yep. looked really nice you know what i'm saying so it, it depends on the person too like like the thing, I, the thing about it is this whole thing is not it's not necessary i call marriage first and foremost a hostile takeover that's pretty much what it is what and marriage marriage itself is a hostile takeover when two companies uh, merge, what do you get? You get two names, right? In a marriage, you get one name. Depends on who you're married to. My husband wanted me to take his name. So that was a hostile takeover. That's right! <laughs> so, that's a hostile takeover. And the, the whole engagement thing 
marriage is a business trans- transaction. And so this all happened. This all came out of the dowry. And in 1932, the De Beers Company said, you know what? We're not selling enough diamonds. How do we get people to buy more diamonds? Diamonds are forever. We, we go to the men. <laughs> And we say, you're not a real man if you don't put a big rock on her hand. And so from 1932, we have been buying into this idea that you have to have a rock to say, I love you. I want to spend the rest of your, my life with you. And that's not that's not at all important. Not at all. Be- again, people do this every day and they get divorced five years later because they don't like each other. <laughs> they don't mm-hmm. like each other and they like what the other person can do for them. And people be trying to keep that ring, too. But go ahead. Oh, 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 let me. I've done the research. In certain states, it is a a promise. It's a contract of marriage. Now, if he breaks off the engagement, you get to keep the ring. So, it's not, or it's not how it is in New York City if it's <laughs> or New Jersey. On, if it's given on your birthday or Christmas, it is a gift. And so hmm. you get to keep it. That is interesting. What do you mean I'm cold? You looked that up. <laughs> I've looked that up too, and and like in most northern states, like as she said, if you don't get it on Christmas or your birthday, and you don't get married, you got to give that ring back. I, well, I don't buy anybody anything that I would want back anyway. Dude, you know, if, if I buy spending... you something, I bought it for you for a specific reason, and I want you to nah, have nah, it. No, 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 no. If I'm, <laughs> hey, if, I mean, if, if the ring was twenty four ninety nine, she can keep it. <laughs> Yo, if I'm spending money, like significant money, like rent money and, <laughs> and car payment money and like down payment on the house money on a ring, I'm wanting that back. If she if she but gives the if she, value is not that good. If she gives no, it, back, it back, well there's a secret there's a secret return policy. Um I ain't gonna s I ain't gonna rat them out. I can't I forget how many uh, days it is. But if you get rejected you, you can about that. If you get <laughs> if you get rejected, you can bring it back within a certain amount of time. But what I'm saying is this: like, I count that as money gone already. Like, I had an engagement ring before that she never saw and never got, and I gave it away because it was a. I could have sold it and went through all that, but it was in my mind. This money was already spent; it's gone. I moved on. I already saved, got my money back, whatever. So it didn't matter because I bought it for that specific purpose. Um, now had I, I would say this. Now, had I got cheated on or some crazy stuff like that, then yeah, I want—I definitely want my ring back. But I think you, she should give it back anyway because it's a symbol of someone else, someone's love for you that didn't work out. So why would you keep that? Why would you keep that? Because it's like, like me, I like I'm of a different mindset. I was I was taught to <laughs> get all the money you can by my dad, like mm-hmm. leave no money on the table. And if you got to get an <laughs> engagement ring back and you got to sell it. No matter if you're getting all the money back, you're getting some of it back. I'm glad you mentioned uh, selling the ring. So I, Uh-oh. for the guys, yeah. if your friend, his engagement ended, he's willing to sell you the ring, you're thinking about getting engaged, would you buy that ring and give it to your current girlfriend? I probably would, depending on That's the quality of the juju ring. juju on it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I, I'm not a believer in that. Oh. <laughs> I'm I, the only reason I probably wouldn't, one, the ring, if the ring fit what she was looking for and what she liked, then yeah, but me on something like that, I'm going to want a warranty and guarantees and stuff on it. So if I don't have Mm -hmm. that, and that's a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. I understand. Like (laughs) if it, if it was like she had the ring and got the, and my friend got the ring back, then no, I would not take that ring. Yeah, but, that, but, that's what I mean. Like, she oh. had it, she wore it, she done told everybody she was Oh, she got her dead skin all in between the <laughs> songs. Nah. Oh, no, no, definitely not. Yeah. But, if it was, but if it was like in Rob's case, like he bought the ring, never gave it to the girl, just had it sitting around, yeah, I'd buy it off of him. <laughs> okay. That I can roll with, but the other one is just bad, bad, bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it because of like, yeah, another woman has been seen with that ring. <laughs> It's, but see, okay, so that's a lot of women thing. been seen with the same ring. Let me tell you. No, Thank but you. this Thank ring you. has like engaged. specific cuts, specific like diagrams. Like when it's I got engaged, specifically for her. Hold on, let <laughs> let the queen engaged, speak. Everybody had the same square cut engagement ring. Sorry, sisters, if you got it, if you love it, I like it, whatever. But. It, it had no personality. It was a bunch of like that. That's another thing. 
The twenty four ninety nine ring. The only problem I have with it is not the price. It's the fact that it has no personality. The guy didn't look at this and say, "Yo, this reminds me of a girl." He solely looked at the price, and so that that's the only issue I have with that because there's a lot of girls walking around with the same ring because the dude don't either don't know his girl or went for the good price. Mm. See, I'm probably the last person that should talk about jewelry and personality because. I don't wear jewelry. It does not look good on me. So if I, I'm going solely on the price of things because that's that's my outlook on jewelry. It just costs. That's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, your dad he told you don't leave no money on the table. So ha- I understand. Have y'all all seen this ring though? Have y'all yeah, seen, I've it? seen it? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We've seen Do you it. think that looks like an engage? Is that a ring you would buy for someone? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the ring that everybody got engaged with. <laughs> <laughs> I sold I sold some of them. I feel like a dirty a dirty man for selling those. Oh, three you years like, ago, I definitely worked for K's three you, years ago. You feel yeah. like a pimp, Rob, don't you? It, it looked like an engagement starter pack. <laughs> like that's what it was. It was an engagement starter pack. <laughs> nah. It's everybody definitely not. Start somewhere. It's I, start somewhere. I guess. That that is <laughs> That's funny to me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, man. Um, I'm like on the fence. But I think, like I said in the last episode, make sure you consult with your lady. Ladies, this is what happens, though, when you don't speak up. This whole, oh, surprise me. He should know what I want. Okay. Remember, when you get what you get, (laughs) you had a chance. (laughs) You had a chance. Rob, can I offer an engagement ring tip to the ladies? Tell them whatever you like. What you do, this is what I did, is you find a celebrity ring that you really like, right? And you send it to your potential fiance, and you, and when he asks how much it costs, you tell him the celebrity price. Oh my God, this is the ring that Tom Cruise gave Katie Holmes, and it is three hundred thousand dollars, right? And and when he tells you, when he crushes your hopes and dreams, you already started so high. He kind of knows what area you want to go to. So then, how so dare then you? When you look when you look at the twenty four hundred dollar ring, right? You look at that. He's like, oh, that's not so bad because you know we started somewhere else. So you go get somewhere between that twenty four hundred dollar range and maybe a little higher, maybe that four thousand dollar mark. So if you go big, you know you're not gonna get that. You can always work your way down, but you can't work your way up from small ladies. So don't, <laughs> start at, don't start at 24 and I, I mean, if you a ring girl, see, I wasn't really a ring girl, but he kept telling me, I'm getting you a ring. You have to have a ring. So I said, I'm going to play this game. I'm going to do it right. So don't start at twenty four ninety nine, ladies. Start big and work down. Don't start little and try to work up. It ain't going to happen. On this whole little session, I said, this is my wife. I, this is why I married her. Now she got me kind of retracting, brother. <laughs> That's all I can say. She like, done she said. Just now saying that. <laughs> she done said quite a few things. And see, what she just said is why I would be upset if you're going to look at how much I paid for that ring. Y'all sneaky and conniving. Some of y'all. Some look, of y'all. You looking out for your best interest? Because. Before we get engaged, we still two we still two individuals. We're not married. We're not one yet. True. So you were looking out for you. I'm looking out for me. And then we just find a happy median, and then we we get married, become one, and it all works out. You see how you've seen how happy we are together, Rob. So I have. It all works out. <laughs> I I'm have. lucky it happened to be worth it. You know what I'm saying? I I took. He said it happened, it happened to be worth it. You never know, Rob. You never know. But I, it worked out. I'm good. I'm happy. <laughs> what I want to wish good luck to the people out there, man. It's not about it. <laughs> Dude, I just had that image of the, the family guy when the, the Asian lady was like, how much t- how much turn signal I need to turn across eight lane? None? Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Big ass car wreck in back of everybody else. Listen, y'all, I hope y'all are taking this advice down. Um, this is some golden <laughs> golden advice, man. But y'all got any final thoughts, closing thoughts? I think we've said I've said everything I need to say. I don't have any more curveballs for y'all. Alright, I got one. It's gonna make a lot of women mad at me. <laughs> yes, but- make them mad at you. Is it, it needs to be said a lot of y'all out there who are criticizing the twenty four ninety nine ring, y'all are just ultra petty. 
y'all probably the ones that, y'all probably the single friends that give they <laughs> couple friends bad advice and got them breaking up with their man for real y'all need to just sh- sit down shut up <laughs> and watch a couple friends and maybe you'll pick up on some things and maybe you'll get in a relationship too <laughs> Wow. I feel like I should defend us, but the sad part is I agree. (laughs) (laughs) The same girls turning down the $24.99 ring ain't worth much more than damn selves. Um, So, ladies, it's not about the ring. It's about the man. Focus on making your relationship work, and you will get what you deserve. When When it turns out to be worth it. He will realize, <laughs> and he will. <laughs> when it turns out, CV. Nah, no. no, I, I would say, man, you know, to the, to the fellas, man, because that's where I'm speaking from, to, from the heart, man. Just don't do it. Don't don't get a twenty four ninety nine <laughs> ring, man. Respect respect yourself, because you got to think about it, man. When you walk, when she walks out that house, you know, says she represents you, she's looking all good, and then you got that on her finger, and that's just not right. So think about that. And then when she has to talk to her homegirls and. You know, people want to take like that little ring shot. Like, let's say two girls get engaged at the same time. They oh yeah, a ring shot, and then hers is the twenty four ninety nine one, and then <laughs> the other one is you know saying bling blinging like crazy. Yeah, so don't do that to her. Just think about her. Just think about her. Um, <clears throat> hold on, I'm saving an inappropriate Facebook post. Hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> I want to hear this video. The, the title says, is the 69 position overrated? I want to hear this from a people. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 this is content for the show. Hey, this is for the content. Yeah, send me that video. No, no. <laughs> no, it's... Okay, here. I'll be invited back. I'll listen. Wait. I want to be on that podcast. Yeah. I didn't say it was going to be a podcast. I'm just interested yeah. because it's, wow. a, it's a woman speaking on it. I'll send it to y'all on Facebook. Anyway. Or better be for it. She's, she's not doing it right. If, no, I didn't. No, it's a question she said, but I, oh, okay. I don't know. This might be a man. I need to look at it first. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I, I would say this, everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to thank my guests for giving me time out of their day to do this. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Queen. And thanks, CV. Because I believe all of our beautiful black women are queens. Now, okay. thank you for having, for having us. Always. I'll, I'll leave y'all with this bit of advice. Know your girl, know your relationship, and know that what you do for someone, regardless of your relationship with them, is a representation of how you feel about them. You know, um, it, it's it's a catch-22. The engagement ring is special because there's a lot of symbolism behind it. But it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> $24.99 ring, and would it be okay if she bought you some Air Gordons instead of Air Jordans? You know, it's kind of <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like my yeah, friend. That's why black market exists. So. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's kind of like that Cash 22. It's like, do you want to get her the Bobo ring? But again, it goes back to know your relationship. If y'all know that that's your situation, that's all y'all can afford, that's your thing. But you have to be strong enough strong enough make sure your girl is strong enough to get through those societal norms because again carl brought up a good point because if y'all listen to the last episode the ring i was aiming for was expensive and it was beautiful though like she would have been stunting on people with that ring but after a conversation i found out she wanted something that was like 180 degree degrees the opposite she loved what i was thinking but when she showed me what she wanted i was like oh okay so you never know what you're gonna get but I'm with Carl. Put some effort into it, bro. For real. Go to a jewelry store. Talk to some dudes in the jewelry store. Don't talk to the ladies in the jewelry store, fellas. Talk to the dudes. And I'm, <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to be sexist. I worked in a jewelry store. Uh, they're probably going to you know, you want her to do it up and do it. You might, you might come across a level-headed chick in there. But the guys are going to like, they're going to look out for you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look out for you. Hopefully they'll look out for you. I lied. You might get a scumbag either way. Just be careful. <laughs> just go. Trying to get his commission. He ain't worried about your girl. Yeah, for real. Uh, just go in there and look at some rings and look at some prices. Like when you know you love that girl and you thinking about that, go look at some rings, look at some prices, get some education because you're going to find out it's more expensive than you think. And ladies, those rings are more expensive than you think. They really are. So, with that, thank you all for listening. This has been Cheap Ass Engagement Rings, the <laughs> second episode. <laughs> second episode. 
Remember, from my experience, podcasts were on Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, and iTunes, bitches. Um, you working on that title deal next, ain't you? Oh, shoot. I can put podcasts on title? Get, what? Get, I got to look into that. <laughs> yo, you got to speak the whole, yo. <laughs> Jay, holla at hey, me. Man. I know somebody. I can get to Jay-Z. I got connections. I can get to Charlemagne the God. Let me see. Okay. Hey, I got some so, connects. So, Rob, before we cut out, I do want to say that CV and I also have a podcast on Anchor right now. We ain't big time like you. We trying to get there. It's called We Here, Man. Basically, it's this marriage, relationships, child rearing, trying to figure out this adulting shit. So, <laughs> if your listeners want some more podcasts, look us up on Anchor. We Here, Man, Nella B, and CV. Thank you for having us again. Yes, make sure y'all hey, man, subscribe to that. Yeah, no problem. Y'all subscribe to that. Some good stuff. Uh, you want to shout your stuff out, uh, Dave? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I also do a podcast on YouTube. It's called The Free Play Mode. Quick hit, and it is video game related as well as politics and video games and how they intertwine as well as my Twitter account, uh, D-Man for Life 8017. So catch me on those two venues. If you would subscribe, please. <laughs> All right, y'all, don't don't forget to like and subscribe and all that beautiful stuff. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace.